Hey, coin collectors and history buffs. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most coveted and valuable collections of coins in the United States, the Lincoln One Cent Penny. But not just any Lincoln Penny, we're talking about the ultra-rare, ultra-valuable ones worth millions of dollars. From key dates to rare minting errors, these pennies have earned their place in history and in the hearts of collectors worldwide. So, buckle up as we explore the top 22 most valuable Lincoln one-cent pennies, with some of these coins fetching jaw-dropping prices at auction. You won't believe how much some of them are worth. Let's get started, hey, coin enthusiasts and treasure hunters. Did you know that a simple penny from your pocket could be worth a jaw-dropping $11,999? That's right, today we're diving into the fascinating world of the 1981D Lincoln penny its history, how it became so valuable, and what makes it stand out in the world of rare coins. Welcome back to the channel. If you love discovering rare and valuable coins, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss our treasure hunting tips. Now, let's talk about this humble yet incredibly valuable penny. The 1981D Lincoln penny was minted at the Denver Mint, as indicated by the small D mark on the coin's obverse, just below the date. Over 5.3 billion of these pennies were struck that year, making it seem like a common coin at first glance. But as with many treasures, rarity lies in the details. So, what makes this penny worth a whopping $11,999 in today's market? The key lies in its condition, rarity, and errors that collectors are eager to find. A 1981D penny graded in perfect mint state 67 or higher by professional grading companies like PCGS or NGC is what drives the high value. One condition, coins with no scratches, strong luster, and sharp details are considered mint state. Only a few 1981D pennies have survived in such pristine condition. Point two minting errors. Some 1981D pennies have die cracks, off-center strikes, or doubled die errors. These minting anomalies make the coin even more desirable to collectors. Point three historical significance. As part of the long running Lincoln Penny series, coins from this era are becoming more sought after as collectors complete their sets. Take a look at this comparison. On the left, you see a circulated 1981D penny worth just a cent. But on the right, this high grade specimen sold for $11,999 at auction. The difference? the stunning quality and sharp strike of the high-grade coin. In fact, collectors are willing to pay top dollar for coins graded MS67 or higher. The record-breaking auction sale of a 1981D penny happened because the coin was one of the finest known examples, making it an irresistible gem for serious collectors. So, how can you tell if your 1981D penny is worth a fortune? Here's a quick checklist. White heavy check mark look for the D mint mark under the year. White heavy check mark examine the coin under bright light for strong luster and minimal scratches. White heavy check mark check for any unusual features like doubling or die cracks. White heavy check mark consider sending your coin to a grading service if you think it's in exceptional condition. The Denver Mint, where this penny was struck, has a long history of producing high quality coins. However, even with advanced minting processes, Errors and unique features still sneak through, creating these rare and valuable finds. That's the incredible story of the 1981D Lincoln Penny, a small coin with a big value. Who knows? You might just have one of these treasures hiding in your piggy bank or coin jar. So start searching and share your findings in the comments below. Let's see if we can uncover more hidden gems together. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow treasure hunters. And as always, keep your eyes open. You never know what treasures are out there waiting for you. See you in the next video. Hey coin collectors and enthusiasts. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a coin that has captured the attention of collectors worldwide. The 1994 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. This seemingly ordinary coin could be worth a staggering $43,922. Yes, you heard that right. So, grab your magnifying glass, and let's take a close look at this penny's fascinating history, value, and why it's worth so much money today. 
Before we jump into the details of why this penny is so valuable, let's cover the basics. The 1994 Lincoln one-cent penny is a part of the long-running series of U.S. pennies, which have been in circulation since 1909, when the first Lincoln cent was introduced. The obverse, front, of the penny features the iconic portrait of Abraham Lincoln, while the reverse, back, showcases the Lincoln Memorial, which was used from 1959 until 2008. But here's where things get interesting. The 1994 penny in question is a no mint mark version, meaning it lacks the D mint mark, which stands for the Denver mint, or P mint mark, for the Philadelphia mint. Normally, you'd find one of those mint marks to indicate where the coin was produced. But the 1994 no mint mark penny doesn't have that. And that's where its story takes a unique turn. So, why is this 1994 penny worth such a jaw dropping $43,922? Well, it all starts with a bit of a mystery. In 1994, the U.S. Mint was still making pennies at both the Philadelphia and Denver Mints. But due to an unusual error, a batch of pennies was released into circulation from the Philadelphia Mint without the typical P mint mark. This rarity makes it stand out from the rest. This coin is special because the minting process was expected to include the mint mark on every coin, but for some reason, these pennies were struck without one. The exact cause of the error isn't entirely clear, but it is believed that the Philadelphia mint either failed to add the mint mark to the dies or that it was somehow damaged or worn down during production. As a result, these 1994 no mint mark pennies are considered extremely rare. Only a small number of them were released into circulation, and finding one in good condition is like discovering a hidden gem. So, what makes the 1994 no mint mark penny so sought after by collectors? The answer lies in its rarity and condition. Rarity. As mentioned earlier, most 1994 pennies have a mint mark either P for Philadelphia or D for Denver. The fact that there's a small subset of 1994 pennies with no mint mark creates an instant appeal to collectors who specialize in minting errors or coin anomalies. The rarity of the coin makes it highly collectible, and that drives the price up. Condition. The value of any coin is also heavily influenced by its condition. A 1994 no mint mark penny that's been well preserved is much more valuable than one that's been circulated heavily. Mint state coins or those in graded condition, can reach much higher values. Coins that are graded MS65 or higher can command premiums in the market, with some examples fetching thousands of dollars. Keep an eye out for one that's well-preserved. Additionally, pennies that show little to no wear and tear, especially those with sharp details, original luster, and a clear error, are always at the top of the collector's wish list. If you're out searching through your change or flipping through a coin collection, how can you identify a 1994 no mint mark penny? It's actually quite simple, but it does require a bit of attention to detail. Check the year. The first thing to look for is the year, 1994. It should be clearly marked on the obverse side under Lincoln's portrait. Look for the missing mint mark. This is where it gets interesting. On the reverse of the penny, just below the date, there is usually a mint mark, P for Philadelphia or D for Denver. However, on the 1994 no mint mark penny, this space will be completely blank. This absence of a mint mark is the key feature that makes the coin so valuable. Condition. Inspect the overall condition of the coin. Look for any signs of heavy wear, scratches, or discoloration. The best specimens are those that are shiny, have clear details, and are in high-grade condition. A coin in poor condition may not fetch the same price, so condition matters. Pro tip, use a magnifying glass to examine the coin closely if you're unsure. Now, let's talk about the current market value of the 1994 no mint mark penny. In recent years, the price of this rare penny has fluctuated, but as of now, a 1994 no mint mark penny in excellent condition is valued at around $43,922. This price can vary depending on factors such as the coin's condition, grade, and the collector market at the time. Coins in MS65 or higher grades have sold for significantly higher amounts at auctions, sometimes reaching into the tens of thousands of dollars. So, if you happen to find a 1994 penny with no mint mark in good condition, 
it could be time to get it professionally graded by a trusted service like PCGS or NGC to determine its exact value. Why does the value continue to rise? The rarity of this coin, combined with the growing interest in collecting error coins, has kept its value on the upward trajectory. As fewer and fewer people find these coins, and as more collectors get interested in rare minting errors, the price of the 1994 no mint mark penny has continued to climb. If you have one of these pennies, you could be holding on to a small treasure. If you're lucky enough to have a 1994 no mint mark penny, you may be wondering how to sell or auction it. There are a few different ways to go about it. Auction houses. Top auction houses like Heritage Auctions or Stax Bowers often deal with rare coins and mint errors. These platforms can help you get the best price for your coin, especially if it's in exceptional condition. Online marketplaces. Sites like eBay can also be a good place to sell your coin. But be sure to do your research and check the selling fees. Make sure to list your penny with high-quality photos and a clear description of its condition and rarity. Coin dealers. Reputable coin dealers can also be a great option for selling. They will be able to provide a fair valuation of your penny and guide you through the selling process. Pro tip. Before selling. Always get your coin appraised and consider having it professionally graded to ensure you're getting top dollar. So there you have it. The 1994 no mint Mark Lincoln one cent penny. What seems like an ordinary penny is actually a rare and valuable find that could be worth thousands of dollars. Whether you're a seasoned collector or new to the world of coin hunting, this is one coin you'll definitely want to keep an eye out for. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more exciting content about rare coins and their histories. Have you ever come across a 1994 no mint mark penny? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy hunting, coin collectors. Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the world of rare coins and hidden treasures that could be hiding in your pocket change. Today, we're talking about a fascinating coin that's worth big bucks, the 1981 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny, valued at an incredible $15,002 in today's market. The History Behind the 1981 Lincoln Penny Let's start with a little history. The Lincoln Penny was first introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by Victor David Brenner, this coin became iconic not only for its design but also for being the first U.S. coin to feature a president. Now, fast forward to 1981. The U.S. Mint was producing billions of pennies annually due to the high demand for these everyday coins. But there's a twist. Coins without mint marks were typically struck at the Philadelphia Mint, which didn't use a mint mark at the time. While this wasn't uncommon, the 1981 No Mint Mark Penny has some very special characteristics that set it apart. What makes this coin worth $15,002? So, why is this 1981 No Mint Mark Penny worth a jaw-dropping $15,002? Here are the key factors, condition, and grading. This coin's value skyrockets if it's in pristine condition, also known as mint state. Collectors often grade coins on the Sheldon scale, from 1 to 70. A 1981 penny with a grade of MS68 or higher can fetch top dollar because it's nearly flawless. Rarity and high grade. While billions of 1981 pennies were minted, very few have been preserved in perfect condition. Over time, most pennies get scratched, worn, or damaged, making high grade examples incredibly rare and desirable to collectors. Copper composition. In 1981, pennies were still made of 95% copper with the remaining 5% being zinc. In 1982, the mint switched to a predominantly zinc composition due to rising copper costs. This makes 1981 one of the last years for the copper Lincoln penny, adding historical and material value. Collector demand. Collectors love coins with historical significance, and the 1981 penny fits the bill. Plus, with no mint mark, it's easy to attribute it to the Philadelphia Mint, which didn't produce as many ultra-high-quality coins that year. How to identify a valuable 1981 penny Alright, here's how to check if you have a valuable 1981 no mint mark penny. Examine the date. First, check the date. It should clearly say 1981. 
No mint mark below the date means it was struck in Philadelphia. Inspect the coin's condition. Look for minimal wear, sharp details, and no scratches. Use a magnifying glass or loop to get a closer look at the surface. Get it graded. If you think your penny looks pristine, consider sending it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. A certified grade can significantly increase its value. Current market value. Now let's talk numbers. As of today, a 1981 no mint mark Lincoln penny in near perfect condition has been auctioned for a staggering $15,002. This price reflects the coin's rarity, historical significance, and demand among collectors. Even lower grade versions of this coin can fetch anywhere from $50 to several hundred dollars, so it's definitely worth checking your collection. Tips for coin collectors If you're a coin collector or just starting out, here are some tips to keep in mind. Protect your coins. Store your coins in protective cases or albums to avoid scratches and damage. Do your research. Learn about coin grading and market trends to understand what makes a coin valuable. Network with collectors. Join online forums or local coin clubs to connect with others who share your passion. Could you have one of these coins? Here's the exciting part. 1981 pennies are still common in circulation, so you might just find one in your change jar. While the chances of finding a high-grade penny are slim, it's not impossible. Keep your eyes peeled. You never know when you'll strike gold. That's all for today, folks. The 1981 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny is proof that even the smallest coins can hold tremendous value. So, go check your change, and let us know in the comments if you find anything exciting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode of Channel Name. Thanks for watching, and happy treasure hunting! Could a single penny change your fortune? The 1982 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny might be just the coin hiding in your pocket change, worth an astonishing $19,872 in today's market. Stick around as we unravel the story behind this rare gem, why it's so valuable, and how you can identify if you have one. The 1982 Lincoln penny marks a significant year in U.S. coinage history. This was the year the U.S. Mint transitioned from using copper to zinc for pennies. Why? Rising copper prices in the late 1970s and early 1980s meant it was more expensive to produce the coins than their face value. Starting mid-year in 1982, the mint shifted to a zinc core penny with a thin copper plating. However, during this transitional phase, both copper and zinc pennies were minted, leading to variations in weight and design. To add to the intrigue. Some pennies were struck without a mint mark, creating an exceptional rarity among collectors. But why is the absence of a mint mark so important? Mint marks indicate where a coin was produced. For pennies, you typically find the marks D4 Denver or S4 San Francisco under the date on the obverse, front side. When a penny has no mint mark, it means it was struck at the Philadelphia Mint, which generally didn't add mint marks to pennies at that time. But here's the twist. During the transitional year of 1982, finding a no mint mark penny with certain characteristics turned out to be extraordinarily rare. The value of the 1982 no mint mark penny comes down to a few critical factors. Rarity. Only a small number of these pennies were produced during the transitional period. Composition. Some were struck in copper, weighing 3.11 grams, while others were zinc, weighing 2.5 grams. Collectors prized the copper variants. Condition, pennies in uncirculated or mint state condition, graded by professional services like PCGS or NGC, fetch the highest prices. In today's market, a pristine example of the 1982 no mint mark Lincoln penny has been valued at $19,872. But even those in lesser conditions can sell for hundreds or thousands of dollars, depending on their characteristics. So, how can you tell if your penny is one of these hidden treasures? Follow these steps, check the date, look for the year 1982. Ensure there's no mint mark under the date, weigh the coin, use a precise scale. Copper pennies will weigh about 3.11 grams, while zinc pennies weigh 2.5 grams. Examine the condition, check for wear and tear. Coins with minimal scratches and a strong luster are more valuable. Consult a grading service. To maximize value, 
Have your penny graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC. Pro tip. If you find a 1982 no mint mark penny that matches these criteria, you could be holding on to a small fortune. The allure of the 1982 no mint mark penny lies in its fascinating story. It represents a pivotal moment in U.S. minting history, combining rarity, historical significance, and a touch of mystery. Collectors around the world are willing to pay top dollar for this coin, not just for its rarity but also for the chance to own a piece of American monetary history. Whether it's a high-grade example or a unique transitional error, this coin continues to captivate numismatists and enthusiasts alike. Now, let's talk numbers. As of today, a 1982 no-mint Mark Lincoln penny in top condition is valued at a staggering $19,872. And even those in slightly lower grades can still sell for significant amounts. Auctions have seen coins go for tens of thousands proving the enduring value of this penny in the collector's market. So, is it time to dig through your jar of pennies or revisit that old coin collection? You never know what treasure you might uncover. If you enjoyed this dive into the world of rare coins, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting discoveries. Who knows? The next valuable coin might already be in your pocket. Thanks for watching. Start your treasure hunt today. Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel, where we uncover the hidden treasures in your pocket change and coin collections. Today, we're diving into a fascinating story about the 1983 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. Yes, this small and seemingly ordinary coin could be worth a staggering $16,999 in today's market. Stick around to find out why this penny is so valuable, what makes it unique and how you can identify one in your collection. The Lincoln cent has been a staple of American currency since 1909, when it was first minted to commemorate the 100th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's birth. Over the years, the design has undergone some changes, but the iconic Lincoln profile on the obverse has remained constant. In 1983, the U.S. Mint struck billions of pennies to meet demand. These coins were produced in three facilities, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The 1983 D penny was minted in Denver, marked by the D below the date on the coin's obverse. At first glance, the 1983 D penny may seem like just another penny. However, this coin's story is far more intriguing than its humble appearance suggests. So, what makes the 1983 D penny worth so much money? The answer lies in its rarity and the errors or variations found in some of these coins. A few key factors contribute to its high value. Minting errors. Some 1983 D pennies were struck with errors, such as double dies or improperly aligned dies, leading to design doubling on the coin's lettering or date. These errors are like signatures from the minting process, making them highly sought after by collectors. Composition shift. In 1982, the U.S. Mint transitioned from pennies made of 95% copper to pennies with a core of zinc, coated with a thin layer of copper. However, some 1983 pennies, like their 1982 counterparts, may have been struck on leftover copper planchets by mistake. These rare copper-based 1983 pennies are especially valuable. High-grade condition. The value of any coin increases significantly if it is in excellent condition, graded as mint state. MS, by professional grading services. A 1983 D penny in MS 65 or higher is far more valuable than one with visible wear. Now that we know why the 1983 D penny is so special, let's talk about how you can identify one in your collection. Here's what to look for. Check the mint mark. Look for the D mint mark below the date on the obverse side. This tells you the coin was minted in Denver. Inspect for errors. Use a magnifying glass or microscope to carefully examine the coin. Look for doubling on the date, lettering, or Lincoln's profile. Weigh your coin. A standard 1983 penny should weigh about 2.5 grams. If it weighs closer to 3.11 grams, it might be one of the rare copper planchet errors. Condition matters. Look for coins with minimal scratches, strong luster, and crisp details. The higher the grade, the higher the value. All right, let's talk money. 
The current market value of the 1983 D penny can go up to $16,999 for coins in top condition. Here are some examples of auction records and sales. In 2019, a 1983 D penny with an MS67 grade sold for over $16,000 at auction. In 2022, another high grade example fetched $15,500 in a private sale. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for coins that combine rarity, historical significance, and pristine condition. If you have one of these pennies, you might be sitting on a gold mine. If you're interested in finding or preserving a 1983 D penny, here are a few tips. Search your change. Start by checking your pocket change and old coin jars. You never know where a valuable penny might be hiding. Invest in tools. Purchase a good magnifying glass coin scale, and storage materials to protect your collection. Get coins graded. If you think you've found a valuable penny, send it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. A high grade can significantly boost the coin's value. Join the community. Connect with other collectors through forums, social media, or local coin clubs. Networking can help you learn more and discover opportunities to trade or sell. The 1983 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny is a perfect example of why numismatics is so exciting. Who would have thought a penny could be worth nearly $17,000? Remember to check your coins carefully. You might just have a hidden treasure in your possession. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to your channel name for more coin stories and tips. Let us know in the comments if you've ever come across a rare or valuable coin. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting! Hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a truly valuable and fascinating coin, the 1987 D Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. Now, at first glance, it might seem like just another penny you could find in your pocket change. But hold on! This specific penny, in certain conditions, could be worth a lot of money around $41,898, to be precise. Let's explore the history, the unique features, and what makes this particular coin so valuable in today's market. Let's start with some basics. The 1987 D. Lincoln Penny was minted in Denver, Colorado. If you're not familiar, the D refers to the mint mark. This one tells us that the coin was produced at the Denver Mint. 1987 was a year of significant change in the U.S., with global events, cultural shifts, and economic growth, but not many would have predicted that one of its pennies would later go on to become a major player in the world of rare coins. As with most Lincoln pennies, the design on the reverse side features Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States. The penny's obverse features a bust of Lincoln, designed by Victor David Brenner, while the reverse side features the iconic Lincoln Memorial, designed by Frank Gasparro. What makes this coin so unique, however, has to do with its rarity in certain grades and conditions, something that many collectors missed back in the 80s. In 1987, the U.S. Mint produced billions of pennies, so at first glance, this coin doesn't appear rare. However, the production was affected by several factors, including the minting process itself and slight variations that occurred during its production. The 1987 D penny was struck in copper-plated zinc which was a standard composition for pennies after 1982. But what happened with some of these coins, particularly in their quality control, is what sets them apart. Some 1987 D pennies were struck with unique flaws, errors, or imperfections that would go on to make them highly valuable. It's these subtle differences that collectors look for when determining a penny's worth. So, what's the big deal with the 1987 D penny? Well, it all comes down to condition and rarity. The more perfect the coin, the higher its value. There are a few key factors that make certain 1987 D pennies worth much more than their face value of one cent. Mint errors. A small number of 1987 D pennies have been found with unique minting errors, such as double strikes or unusual die rotations. These errors are incredibly rare, and coins with these defects are highly sought after by collectors. Condition and grading. The condition of the coin is one of the most important factors when it comes to value. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, 
with 70 being a perfect coin. A 1987 D penny that is in pristine, uncirculated condition could command a higher price due to its rarity in such high grades. The popularity of Lincoln pennies. Lincoln pennies have always been a collector's favorite due to their historical significance, and the 1987 D is no exception. Collectors are willing to pay a premium for rare coins, especially those with unique characteristics. Now let's talk about money. The 1987 D penny in question can be worth significantly more than just one cent. As of today, the market value of a well-preserved 1987 D penny with certain minting errors can be as high as $41,898. That's right, almost $42,000 for a single penny. Coins like this don't just appear in your pocket change. Most of these valuable pennies are found in specialized collections, coin auctions, or through reputable dealers. The rise in value comes from a combination of factors, the rarity of the errors, the high-grade condition of the coins, and the increasing demand among collectors. If you're wondering how to spot a valuable 1987 D penny, here are a few tips to keep in mind. Check for mint errors. Look closely at the details on both the obverse and reverse of the coin. Mint errors, like double strikes, misaligned dies, and off-center strikes, can significantly increase the coin's value. Grade the coin. Have the coin professionally graded to assess its quality. A coin in mint state condition, especially one graded MS65 or higher, can fetch a premium price. Examine the luster. Coins with a brilliant, shiny finish, free from marks or scratches, are usually more valuable than those that show signs of wear and tear. Are you thinking about selling your 1987 D penny? Here's how to do it. Consult a professional. Before you sell, it's a good idea to consult a professional coin dealer or appraiser to determine its true value. They can help you confirm if it has any mint errors and provide an accurate grade. Sell through reputable channels. Consider selling your coin through reputable auction houses or trusted dealers who specialize in rare coins. Online platforms like eBay are also popular for selling high-value coins, but make sure to verify the authenticity of the buyers. Know your coin's worth. Keep up with market trends and understand that the value of rare coins can fluctuate. With the right knowledge, you can make a profitable sale. So, there you have it. The 1987 D. Lincoln penny might just be a little piece of history sitting in your collection or hidden in your change jar but with its potential for a high return on investment, it's definitely worth taking a closer look. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, keep your eyes peeled for those valuable, error-struck coins. Who knows, you might just find one that's worth a small fortune. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos about valuable coins. If you've got a 1987 D penny in your collection, let us know in the comments below. Happy coin hunting, and I'll see you in the next video.